Hello, smoking jacket heads. Man, it has been a while. Uh, November 11th, uh, Veterans Day, 2020 to be exact. Here we are, almost uh, middle of uh, middle of May, and just now getting out another video. I I've owed it to you. Uh, big, big, big shout out to everyone who's pushed me to come back to whiskeys, doing what I love, trying new whiskeys, talking to folks, sharing experiences, talking, reaching out, you know, to the to you guys, the uh, the veterans community, the whiskey lover community, and you guys, right? I, I I have missed this. I have missed this. Behind me, I've got the four bottles I posted up. Um, I'm gonna be upfront, man. These stories, I don't, I don't get a lot of interaction with them, and and, and it, it, but I got some, okay. And so overall, those that voted, uh, voted uh, for the most part, anyway. There was some odd liars, outliers here and there, for uh, letter C. Um, Heaven's Door. Uh, Heaven's Door uh, was recommended to me by a buddy of mine, a uh, ranger buddy. Um, and uh, he, uh, he, you know, he pointed me in this direction. I have not had this. Um, it has been sitting on that shelf probably since October of last year. Uh, Heaven's Door, um, if you Google it, is uh, the website is really, really nice. Very, very interactive. Very well done. Um, Heaven's Door is a Tennessee bourbon, um, which could be sacrilegious. Uh, being said in, in some of y'all's company, um, you know, as we know, most, most bourbons come from Kentucky. Um, but no, this one um, is a, uh, a, a joint venture with Bob Dylan, rock and roller. Um, he uh, he kind of was the brainchild of this. Uh, Heaven's Door uh, being an ode to his uh, third love, apparently. Uh, I had to do some research on this. But Bob Dylan does metal work, metal art. He welds doors, and all of his, all of the Heaven's Doors bottles are uh, have have that um, that picture, that, uh, that 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 little nod to industry, to metal, to to uh, his his passion, which is is metal metal uh, artwork, metal doors, Heaven's Door. Um, Again, uh, this is a, uh, a this is a Tennessee straight bourbon. Um, just looking at it, and based on what I've gotten, it is a uh, uh, 40 45 percent alcohol by volume, 92 proof. Um, so, so a good solid solid pour. Uh, I've heard a lot of positive things about this. Um, I've yet to have it. Um, Certain heck was the one that uh, that recommended this. Um, uh, no stranger to smoking jacket. He's recommended a lot of the bottles I've done uh, reviews on. But anyway, this is, uh, I'm sure, won't disappoint. So let's get to the pour. So just pouring, um, as you can see through the bottle itself, uh, very, very uh, rich, rich color, rich tone. Um, you know, I like I like those dark whiskeys. I like uh, I like whiskeys that got some color to them. Um, this has that. You know, you've got a uh, not quite a uh, a honey yellow. Um, it's got a little bit of uh, some dark to it. Ooh, uh, right off the bat, just taking it in. Uh, first impressions are, you know, there's there's some sweet there. Uh, Brown sugar for for certain. I get notes of uh, baked goods. Uh, very very warm, uh, warm nose. Yeah, I get uh, almost uh, cooked apples, uh, cooked fruit. Very very sweet, uh, inviting. Um, like I said, that brown sugar. That you know, real real nice. Very very inviting. Something you'd smell. You know, in a bakery, right? Cobbler, uh, very cinnamon, spicy, sweet, real, real nice. That is smooth. That is smooth. Um, it's got a little heat uh, there at the end. It doesn't. It's a very, very smooth pour, very, very smooth um, dram. 
but it you do do feel that that warmth at the end uh the notes linger i you know i, I still have that that sweet um you know sugary uh a finish not a lot of oak not a lot of wood smoke just a very very pleasant very very sweet and smooth whiskey that is that is that's, that's all right um you know again i i like the smoke i like the 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 the, the hardiness of a, of a whiskey this is this is almost borderline delicate um not quite light like a, a a basil hayden um this has a little bit more um but it's not as you know rich or heavy as a you know a, as an old forester or or something you know w with a lot more kick um now it's clean uh the finish lingered but it didn't it, it's gone right and uh still very very warm uh you know, not a lot of heat, not heat uncomfortable, but kind of like that real nice, uh, <laughs> y'all, y'all gonna laugh at that, that vapor of, right? That nice warmth that kind of sticks around, uh, warm you up, uh, you know, warm you up on a, on a, on a, on a rainy night, right? It was pleasant, um, it is pleasant. Let's take another sip. Yeah. Yeah, I get um I keep going back to a very 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 uh very uh homey uh very very you know uh again cooked fruit, baked goods, sugar, molasses, very very uh sweet sweet overtones. Not like like I said, not a lot of smoke there, not a lot of oak. Um I guess real real pleasant. Um like I said, not not delicate. I mean, it's like rubbing on there, borderline, but not quite there. I mean, but pleasant. Is it enjoyable? Enjoyable. Um, I know it's been a while. Uh, I, you know, I'm back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some more of these. Um, you know, this is something I love. It's something I've enjoyed. It's something I miss. Uh, man, I haven't been, haven't been in a liquor store in a while. Uh, I mean, I. I know I get the, the notifications, you know, there's allocations out and there's special runs out and I need to get out there. I need to, I need to get some more whiskey. Um, bar's looking a little, a little lonely. Uh, I need to add to it. Need to add to it. Uh, thinking about branching out, thinking about maybe trying some tequila, maybe some rum. Um, you know, kind of, not done a lot of scotches. I think I need to maybe dip some into the scotch world. Um, kind of stuck. I've done one. I did one scotch, which is my favorite, the Laphroaig, uh, ten. But I'm thinking maybe some scotches. Um, just kind of really stuck to the uh, the bourbons and the American whiskeys, which again, there's nothing wrong with. There's, there's so many out there. Uh, but would love some suggestions. Would love to hear what you're pouring. Would love to hear what you're enjoying. Uh, Irish whiskeys, uh, you know, so there's so much out there, so much to enjoy. You know, the, the world of, of, of whiskey is, 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 is unlimited, right? Uh, there's just every, every state has its thing. Every country has its thing. Every region has its thing. And, uh, you know, it's like, it's, you know, seeing the world, it's seeing the world. As I said, I said in one of my earliest videos is whiskey has a story, right? Whiskey has a history. It, it, it tells you something tells you about the people that made it tells you about the people where they came from what they do um it's, it's good stuff it's good stuff it's it, I, again I, i'm thrilled to be back i'm thrilled to make another video um thanks to my wife for pushing me to do it and you guys for for pushing me to do it again that's um heaven's door this is a uh a venture by Mr. Bob Dylan, a rock and roller, famous guy. Check it out. It's a Tennessee bourbon. Um, Tennessee bourbon. Not a sour mash. Don't get it confused uh, with other stuff that comes from Lynchburg. Uh, but this is a Nashville uh, bourbon. Uh, melding art. Melding uh, whiskey. Melding music. Uh, around the Tennessee area. Anyway, this is Smoking Jacket. So happy to be back.
Hope you enjoyed the video. More to come. Smoke and jack it out.